tissues. A human cell contains 46 chromosomes, 46 being the diploid number. Two of these are sex chromosomes and are designated X and Y. XX are paired in the female and XY in the male. Prenatal development is divided into three successive phases. The first phase spans the first four weeks of development. It involves cellular proliferation and migration with some differentiation of cell populations. The second phase spans the next four weeks. It is characterized by the differentiation of all major external and internal structures. This process is termed morphogenesis. The third phase extends from the end of the second phase to term. Further development is largely a matter of growth and maturation. The embryo is now called a fetus. The origin of tissues begins with fertilization of the newly appearing ovum from the adjacent ovaries. Fertilization then takes place in the distal part of the uterine tube when the sperm contacts the egg. The fertilized egg then grows and is termed the zygote. Progressive cell division results in a ball of cells referred to as the morula. The morula grows and begins migration medially to the uterus, which it reaches at the end of the first week. The uterine cavity meanwhile prepares for the arrival of the fertilized ovum. As fluid seeps into the morula, its cells realign themselves to form a fluid-filled hollow ball referred to as the blastocyst. Two populations of cells can now be distinguished within the blastocyst. Those that line the cavity or the primary yolk sac are called trophoblast cells and a small cluster of cells within the cavity called the inner cell mass or the embryoblast. It is the cells of the embryoblast that will now form the embryo proper. The trophoblast cells are associated with implantation of the embryo and then result in the formation of the placenta. At about day 8 of gestation, the cells of the embryoblast differentiate into a two-layered disc called the bilaminar germ disc. The dorsal cell layer is the ectodermal layer. These cells are columnar and they reorganize to form the amniotic cavity. This eventually becomes the epithelium or the epidermis. The ventral cell layer is referred to as the endodermal layer. These cells are cuboidal and form the roof of a second cavity called the secondary yolk sac. During the first two weeks, the axis of the embryo is established. It is represented by a slight enlargement of the ectodermal and endodermal cells at the rostral or the head region. Within the ectoderm, a structure called the primitive streak develops along the midline. This is a narrow groove with slightly bulging sides. The rostral end of the streak ends in a small depression called the primitive node or pit. At this node, the cells of the ectodermal layer divide and migrate between the ectoderm and the endoderm to form a solid column that pushes forward in the midline. This cord of cells is referred to as the notochord and its function is to support the primitive embryo. On the dorsal surface of the embryonic disc, the ectoderm forms the neural plate, whose lateral boundaries elevate to form a neural tube. This will eventually become the brain and the spinal cord. 
The endodermal cells also form a tube which will become the gastrointestinal tract. This tube elongates and anteriorly develops out pouchings that form the pharyngeal pouches. These cell migrations now result in complete separation of the ectoderm from the endoderm except anteriorly in the region of the procordial plate and posteriorly in the caudal end of the embryo which is referred to as the cecal plate. During the next three to four weeks of development, major tissues and organs differentiate from the triploblastic embryo. These include the head and face and tissues contributing to the development of the teeth. The nervous system develops as a thickening within the ectodermal layer at the rostral end of the embryo. This area is referred to as the neural plate. This rapidly forms raised margins called neural folds which deepen and form a midline depression, the neural groove. The neural folds eventually fuse to form the neural tube which separates from the ectoderm with mesoderm intervening. As the neural tube forms, changes also occur in the mesoderm adjacent to the neural tube and notochord. Notochord. A different series of events takes place in the head region. First, the neural tube undergoes massive expansion to form the forebrain, the midbrain, and the hindbrain. At this point, a crucial developmental event takes place. The embryo folds in two planes, that is, along the rostrocaudal axis and along the lateral axis. The head fold is critical to the formation of a primitive stomodium or oral cavity. It is through this fold that ectoderm comes to line the stomodium. The resultant stomodium is separated from the gut by the buccopharyngeal membrane. The ectoderm of the floor of the amniotic cavity eventually encapsulates the embryo and forms the surface epithelium or epidermis. 